Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's search module. So the search module is awesome because it allows you to put a search bar anywhere you want on any post or page. This is great for directory websites or websites in which you have a lot of content that you want to put a, an emphasis on people finding it um, quickly and, uh, and engaging with it. So the shop module will definitely help you do that. In this video, we're going to show you how to use it and how to customize it. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Divi's search module. Using the search module, you can place a search form anywhere on your website. The search form will allow your visitors to search through all of your website's content, including all pages and blog posts. Basically, it gives you the functionality of the WordPress search widget, along with the flexibility of the Divi Builder. So now, not only can you control the search form's location on the page, but you can also add that custom design that you've been looking for. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the search module by adding one to our page and, and customizing the settings together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in my visual builder here and I'm going to hover over my search module that I already have deployed on this site and I'm going to delete it. And this is a one column row and I'm going to go ahead and hover over this add new module button and add a new module search for my search bar search module here click on it and then it brings up the default look uh, or design of my search module here but I want to go ahead and make some customizations to it to do that I'm going to go over to my search settings that have that has popped up over here and underneath the content tab the first option I see is the placeholder text placeholder text is what you see in the input box here that kind of gives the user a clue as to you know what to enter in the actual input box here so it's good to be pretty straightforward I'm gonna go ahead and put in the command to search our blog all right and then continuing on under the content section you can you have the option to show the button right here that search button on the right or not to show it uh, I'm actually going to choose not to show it for this design here. Um, some exceptions. These exceptions are for the functionality of how the search is going to, to happen. You can choose to search through your pages and posts of your website. Uh, that is actually the default, but if you want wanted to just limit it to posts you can just exclude pages here by toggling uh, exclude pages to yes or you can choose to uh, exclude posts and only search through pages so there's a good customization you can do or exception and then also you can exclude categories uh, I, don't, I don't have any listed here but uh, all the categories that you may have listed in your blog would show up here and then you could choose which categories you want to exclude in the search. Continuing on, uh, you can add a background to your search module here. Uh, this actually serves as the background to the input uh, section. And actually I'm going to give it a gray background, really light gray and now I can jump over to my design tab and this gives me a whole lot more options I can use to design this search module the placeholder color this would be the placeholder text color here I'm gonna actually give it a lighter slightly lighter color and let's go ahead and continue on the text color can be changed from dark to light if I wanted uh, to to have for instance a dark background um, I, I would choose light here but since I have a light background I'm gonna keep it dark for now text orientation if I wanted to center my text input here I can do that I'm gonna keep it left aligned 
the input text. Uh, this is the actual text uh, when you start typing in the input box here. Uh, you can customize it however you want. I could change my input font um, to, for instance, plateau if I wanted to. I'm actually going to leave it as the default here for now. And then continuing on, I'm going to change the input font size. I'm going to increase it up to about 16 pixels. I'm going to change my text color to actually match my um, my placeholder text color that I put up there. And uh, input letter spacing, I can increase that if I wanted to. I'm going to keep it as a default. And the line height. Uh, this is another way of basically increasing, you know, the, some spacing around your text here. Um, but I like to actually use the padding to do that. So let's continue on. The button text, we don't really have a button anymore uh, because in the settings we chose not to include one. But if I wanted to, I can just to give you an idea and go back here to the content tab. Under the elements section, click on show button and then go over to my design tab and then I can customize the button text here. The button and border color, I can change maybe if I wanted to add a blue, um, this would change actually the button background and this border color around here. And then I would go in and change my button text color maybe to white so that I can see it better. Um, change the button font size. So you can see in no time just uh, I can change the overall look and feel of my search model to match my site however I want it to look. But for now I'm just going to go back and I'm going to keep it nice and clean and I'm just actually going to get rid of my button all together. I'm going to go back to my button section and let's go ahead and get rid of this color and restore these default settings here. The sizing, I'm going to enter a custom width for this one. This uh, normally is a percentage value here that you can set the width of this module. But I'm going to give it a pixel value and to do that I'm just going to type it in here. Make it 300 pixels wide and since I'm setting a max width here of 300 pixels I'm also going to give it the alignment of centered. So there it is centered on my page. I'm going to add some spacing here. Uh, let's go ahead and add 20 pixels to the top of my search bar here, input section, and then 20 pixels to the bottom. That's looking pretty good. I could add some further uh, animation styles here if I wanted to, uh, to maybe when the page loads or when I scroll to the section on the page, you know, have it um, do a slight animation maybe to make it stand out so the, new, so the user can see right away that they can actually search the blog. But um, let's go ahead and leave it as none for now. And uh, the last thing I want to show you is the advanced tab. Advanced tab is for those uh, extra customizations that maybe uh, aren't addressed in the design tab. Um, sometimes there is this extra uh, CSS that you may want to add or target uh, with an external style sheet. You can do that here by uh, adding a custom CSS ID or class. And um, under the custom CSS section, you can actually add inline CSS to any of the elements for this blog and target it here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to target the input field and I'm going to add a border radius. To do that, I'm just going to enter the CSS border radius property. I'm going to set it to 30 pixels. You can see that, that rounded it out nicely there. 
You can also choose to um, disable the visibility of this module on phone, tablet, or desktop. Go ahead and save this out. And let's save the page. And if I search anything on this website, since I have some mock content here, I'm going to search you know, for Lorem Ipsum. That way I can pull up some blog content. And uh, there you go. So this is the, the search results that I'm getting. As you can see, the first search result is a blog. The second one is a page about the shop module. This one is about a blog. This is a blog and this is a page. So it's pulling both posts and pages in the search results here on the website. So if I wanted to change that, I would go back to my search module and um, let's go back to the settings. And if you remember under the content tab, you have this section called exceptions here. And let's say I want to exclude um, pages and I'll save that out. Let's go ahead and do the Lorem Ipsum search again. This time, the only thing that I'm going to see are my blog posts. I won't see any of those pages. So there's an example of kind of how that functionality works. And uh, there it is. There's your overview of the search module.